Okay, so let me see here. Why doesn't class account have to be referenced? I'm assuming what you mean is we're not importing account here, right? I'm pretty sure that's what you mean. And we use account here with letter A. And that's because Python's not a strict language, right? It, that's why it's in, very popular with uh, uh, beginner programmers. If you were using C Sharp, Java, or C++, then you would have to do an import or an include at the top to tell uh, those languages, I'm going to work with the account type. Uh, Python allows this type of uh, use, right? When we have account, and account is an account type that we created, and then we save it to a variable, then here we're just relying on Python to understand that, hey, I want to work with an account. And the reason that works is because Python allows us to assign whatever value to numbers, right? Like num, a string, float, even customer. All of these uh, statements won't generate an error, right? So because Python behind the scenes, like it tries to figure out what we want, right? It's kind of like, oh, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, that works, right? Like in this case, Python over here is like, oh, so you want to uh, you want to use account in that variable a? Let me see if account exists. Yeah, it exists. Yeah, you can use it, and that's why we don't have to reference it. Let me see here. Uh, want to? Okay. Let me see the other question here. Uh, what is still run? What class account? What is still run if class account was called without use? I'm not sure what that means. Like without use. Maybe you can clarify that. Okay, if I see that pop up, I'll answer it. But for now, I'll continue, right? So so we've seen them kind of work with this. Oh, let me see here. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, so now let's create a menu, like a very simple menu, where like we uh, get to the ATM and uh, we see the options, and then we select an option, right? Uh, maybe we don't we don't worry about password and all that scanning scanning the card because well we're not doing that right uh, so let's take a stab at it so we go here and the menu will not be object oriented it'll be with functions kind of like the menus uh, we've been working this semester through menu and uh, I want to display a menu. <clears throat> Again, this is not object-oriented programming. It's just uh, free functions. Free because they don't belong to a class, right? Or orphan functions, whatever. Print uh, to deposit three. Withdraw for exit. I will run the menu. start easy. Uh, we'll pass in a customer. So we'll pass in a customer. Okay, uh, we'll pass in a customer. Okay. 
and then we're assuming the users there and then we're going to ask them do you want to work with checking or saving okay so let's uh, do that account index equal input enter one for checking two for savings okay so we ask we ask and then we get an account from the customer we're like okay customer uh, get account account index minus one right because if they say one we know they mean zero if they say two we know they mean one right so we have to do account index minus one here so we have the account then we can create the ATM and we pass in the account to the ATM and we need to tell from uh, source dot examples dot classes dot ATM import ATM tab okay <clears throat> and then we display the menu so while well what well we need to create the choice right the user choice for the menu uh, we'll say choice equals uh, we'll use strings I guess oh, integers negative one well choice uh, not equal to four then keep on going because four means exit display the menu ask the user for an option convert it to integer where our users are perfect right no validation we're not focused on that right now enter menu option and uh, this function doesn't exist yet but we will create an enter, enter menu option we pass in the choice we pass in the ATM object It went all the way to repetition. No, we don't want that one. <laughs> okay, we want to create it here. Okay, backspace, uh, define, handle, menu. I was hoping it would give me an option uh, that it would create this piece for me, but I didn't see it. So we say uh, choice ATM. Okay, we're here. And then we create a uh, if a lift block. If choice equal one do something what is it that we want to do atm dot display balance a lift oops a lift uh choice equal to deposit right so atm dot make <coughs> deposit so this is bringing everything together right uh, we have classes that work together, but then we're creating free functions so that we can see how potentially we could uh, use functions and classes in the same program. Okay. And a if, uh, what if choice is equal three? Make withdraw. If it's cuatro four then we simply type exiting right we'll be like oh exiting whatever else uh invalid option right invalid option Notice we're only working with one customer. And that's fine, right? As we progress or make a progress in this program, we'll, we might add like a list of customers or whatever. But now we're just kind of like, okay, how would this work if this was a real program or we were working on some program, right? So, okay, so back to customer ATM. We're not creating test cases, uh, main. Okay. 
Okay. Let me see here. Uh, um, okay. Notice how our main now is like super small. Go to the logic again. Let me go to uh, menu. Okay, so we run and then we ask for one or two. Um, okay, let's run the. Let's see how this goes, and then if we need to change it, we change it. Okay, uh, let's see if it runs to begin with. Right. So, okay, good. So enter one for checking two for. Saving. Okay, one. Uh, display balance. One. Uh, one hundred. Okay. <clears throat> Deposit. One hundred. Display balance. Two hundred. Uh, withdraw. Twenty. Display balance. 180 exit exiting okay we're stuck with working with one account right we, we don't like the way the program structure right now like we never give them a chance to like uh, choose a different account uh, questions here Uh, professor, just to backtrack, mm -hmm. you created the run app uh, file because you had to for mm -hmm. these examples. What, yeah, for what's because the of, between that and run tests. Yeah, because of the imports. The, the, well, run tests runs the test, right? Anytime we use like this kind of imports from, then uh, this is the easiest way that I figured out how to get the program running. Otherwise, you get into like source, blah, blah, not found, import, not found, import, not found. So uh, once you, we tackle it this way, where we import the file, and then in main, we use the from import format for uh, importing our uh, code, and then this is the easiest way to get it to run. That's why I had to do that. If you know of another way, then by all means, right? I'm not a Python expert, right? So. Okay. Uh,